Hi everybody, welcome back. And I brought a friend, oops, to say hello. <laughs> this is one of my kitties, this is Tawny. She's a sweet little girl, we call her Tauntaun. Okay, you can get down now. I didn't bring the other one, Perry, because she's a bit of a grump. Anyway, hopefully you have your take home project kit and if you weren't able to get one, that's okay. You can watch the video, you can see the supplies I use, and then you can gather them at home and watch the video again and get working. So in your kit, you'll have a little instruction sheet, details what we have inside, has my email address on it. So you can send me a picture of what you've made and I'll post it on our Facebook page. I've got some cat hair on me. And then inside, we also have a fun fact sheet about the 4th of July. You can share with your family. We have a 4th of July coloring page. You can color that in. Let's see what else do we have in here. We have a 4th of July sticker. You can put on your shirt or you can put it in a sticker book. We have a piece of white yarn. We have a piece of red construction paper. We have a toilet paper roll. And we have some streamers or crepe paper. Red, white, and blue. Oh, they keep falling. Let me pick this one up. Oops, where'd it go? Keeps. Okay, here we go. We have some long ones and some short ones. Whoops. They, they're like little wiggle worms. Gotta be careful there. And then we have a fancy piece of embellishment. So you might have one like this, or you might get one like this. Okay. And then this is what we're going to be making, our own fireworks. So you can twirl it around. You can have the cats chase it. And it's quiet, so it won't scare the pups. So you'll see that we use the white yarn. We attach it so that it, it holds it. And you can run around, and this will follow behind you. We have our little sparkly piece we put on the top. And then we will eventually put the construction paper around the toilet paper roll. And we'll be attaching the streamers to the inside of the toilet paper roll. And if you have other embellishments, um, such as, you know, yarn or, or different colored string or, or other colored crepe paper you want to add, bring it on. This is your, your piece. You do whatever you want. And some of the things you might want to have on hand would be a glue stick, some tape. If you have double-sided tape bring that on. Maybe a hole puncher if you have that. Some scissors. Kid scissors for the kids, of course. Also, you might want to have a stapler on hand if you don't want to use the tape. And of course, some markers. So what you can do um, is if you want, you can decorate part of your, of your red construction paper because this will eventually go on. So know that Part of it will be hidden, so you can actually just kind of roll it around and you can put a little mark like from here, Oops. So if I roll it around, put a mark to where it will end, like that, a little mark, and then I know I can decorate it from here to here and that's the part you'll see. You can also decorate that part. Just might get covered up. So you can do that first if you want. You can put that aside for now. Okay, so there are many ways to attach the streamers or crepe paper to your toilet paper roll. You can get your glue stick and put some glue inside and then attach it that way. You can also use the double-sided tape Put it around the edge. Again, attach your streamer. You can also get some 
regular tape. This is a little more awkward. You can put it on the streamer and then put it in there like that. Okay. Or another way, you can do it. And, and any way you want to do it is fine with me. You can cut your toilet paper roll right down the middle like this. We will be putting it back together. And then you can add some of the glue on the bottom. I'm gonna get my glue stick. Right there. And I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom. Maybe a half an inch wide and all the way across. You see how where it's really shiny? That's where the glue is. Okay. And then I'm going to put my lay my streamers on top. So I'm going to put my short ones on. So they'll kind of be on the outside. I'm gonna lay one like that. Where's the other short one? And you can do it any way you want. I'm gonna put the red one next. And where's the, here's the short blue one. Do that next. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you're going to add another layer of glue on top. So that you can put the next layer of streamers on. Okay, you put some red there, like that. So take my blue one. Rub that in. And if you want to make sure they stick, You can always add some tape. You get like a nice long piece of tape. And you can just put it sort of on the top like that. Some extra insurance. Okay, so that's that part. And of course now we want to reattach it. So you can either, this is a, ugh, a little more tricky. Okay, you're gonna meet it up. So you might need some help from your big person with this. So what I decided to do, instead of taping it, I think I'm going to get my, and no, that's not gonna work, I'm gonna use tape. If I had a thinner stapler, I could do it. I'm just gonna tape it at one end. And I'm just gonna tape it at the other. And then eventually when I put on the, um, construction paper, that will hold it in place, too. Just gently. Just gently. There you go. See? That's a pretty easy way to add everything. Okay. And then if you want, you can also add, if you have mica flakes or glitter or stickers or anything that's a little bit flatter, you can add that on here. You can draw. You can also write, happy 4th of July. I'm gonna write that. I'm gonna write happy 4th of July. Happy Fourth of July, and then put that on and make sure it's not covered up. Nope, it's not. So, whoops, it's upside down though. So I'm gonna put it the other way, and then so what you want to do is get your end, your inside, and you're gonna put some glue stick there. Put some glue stick there. You can also use tape or both. Okay, so here's the glue. See where it's shiny? Okay, I'm gonna lay that down and just make sure it's going in the right direction. You're going to lay your piece on top, your uh, paper, I keep saying paper towel. It's toilet paper roll on top there. I'm just going to press it down. It's 
sticks. I mean, you don't really have to glue it. You can just wrap it around, but sometimes it's easier to glue it so it holds it in place while you're wrapping this around. And then when you get towards the end, you're gonna hold this like this, put this down, and then you're gonna get some more glue and just, oops, put this on the end. Put some glue on the end of the inside. Okay, right here the inside and then just finish wrapping it around again you can use some tape as well you can add some extra tape just to make sure it really sticks on there okay all right here we go so the other thing I want to do before I put on my fancy piece is I want to attach. Oh, there it is, my firework. I want to attach my yarn. So I gave you a pretty long piece, so you can make it shorter if you want. This is kind of long. So you can either use tape to tape it in there, or what I thought of doing is if you have a um, hole puncher, you can put two holes, one on one side. Got the same. Yeah, you know I'm going to do first, so I know exactly where I want it. I'm going to put one on one side and one straight on the other side. Maybe about a quarter of an inch down. See where that mark is, and I'm going to go right over and do another quarter of an inch down on the other side. See? Now I know exactly where I want my holes. And then I'm going to get my trusty hole puncher. And put the hole in there. Put the hole in the other side. Hopefully this is... I think this will be wide enough to... Oops. Sometimes it gets a little... Okay. I might have to move it this way. Now my hole punch is a little mm, small, so I actually put a couple hole punches to make the hole a little bit bigger. Do it on the other side too, so I can fit the yarn through. But some people have a bigger hole punch. See, like that. And then there's different ways you can put the yarn through. You can put it through this way and then tie a knot, but I thought I might do like this. I might put it through one side. Just have to get it in there. Pull it through like that. And I'm gonna put it through the other side. Stick it through. It starts coming apart a little bit, but I can grab a piece. Come on through, there we go. So, it's like that. I'm gonna make sure my ends are a little even. And I thought I might do, yeah, I think I want it that long. And I'm just gonna tie it in a knot up here. It'll go through for me. Come on through. And I'm just going to cut that down a little bit. Yeah, it's nice and sturdy. So there it is. Okay. Now the last part, I got that on. The last part is to put on our fancy bit here. So I'm going to add, I'm probably going to use some glue and tape for this. So I'm going to put some glue stick all around. Get my yarn out of the way. start just hold that down and then as I wrap it around once you might have to add some more glue on top of the fancy part and that'll hold it down and you can like wrap this around any way you want and you don't have to use all of it 
You can cut it if you want, cut it down, make it a little bit shorter. I just thought maybe I'll just use all of it, go around. This is definitely going to test your frustration level. There. It might come up. So then what I do, I'm going to add a little tape. I'm going to put some tape coming up here and around and in the inside to hold it down a little bit. So there, so I put some tape to hold it. Maybe I'll put another bigger piece. Do it any way you want. I mean, this is you know you're just you're just here to have fun and make art, right? No pressure. So if you get this blue piece, you can also crinkle it up a little bit to make it a little more puffy. I did mine a little flatter. Or if you get this one, this might be a little bit harder to work with. You might have to tape it more or glue it more. Or even if you have a thinner stapler, you might be able to, I don't know if I can get this into the toilet paper. Oh, oh, it fits right in nicely. There we go. I'm going to staple it. There we go. Okay, that did fit in pretty nicely. Okay. So you might need your big person. And this does cover up a little bit of the writing, so you can move it up a little bit, or you can write it again. And there you go. You can spin it around and around. Make your own fireworks. And if you go around really fast, can you hear that? It kind of sounds like fireworks, doesn't it? I like it. I think that's kind of cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. So remember to take a picture of your fireworks and send them to me so I can put it on our Facebook page. Hope to see you next time. Bye.